Hey, Rava, sad math question. Okay, let's go to the question. Which expression is equal to 6 times x to the 8th power times y to the 2nd power? Positive 12 times x to the 2nd power times y to the 2nd power. Okay, here, uh, two terms are in addition, and I don't think uh, we can add uh, and we can uh, combine these two terms uh, into single term because they are not, they are not like terms. Because uh, for x, we have uh, the exponent 8. Here, the exponent of 8 is 2. Okay, so for y, even though we have the same exponent for y, we don't have the same exponent for x. So these two terms are not like terms, so we cannot combine them into single term. So I don't think uh, we'll be able to get option A or option B as a correct answer for this one. So because uh, since we will not be able to co combine these two terms, so always uh, when I see, even when I simplify, I'll be getting two terms over here. Okay, so um, option C or option D may be correct. So when I look at option C or option D, uh, so it has been factored, the given expression has been factored. Okay, now let's try to factor the given expression over here. So for that, we have to find the greatest common divisor for these two terms. So when I look at the numbers 6 and 12, what is the greatest common divisor? It's 6. And uh, what is the greatest common divisor for this x to the 8th power and x to the 2nd power? Clearly, x to the 2nd power is the greatest common divisor for these two terms. And in terms of y, what is the greatest common divisor? It's just y squared. Okay, so 6 times x squared y squared is the greatest common divisor for the terms in this expression. So we can factor 6 x squared times y squared. So uh, to know the stuff uh, after 6 x squared uh, times y squared is factored out, what I need to do is I have to divide the, the two terms in the given expression by the one I factor out. So first, let me take the first term, that is 6 times x to the 8th power times y to the 2nd power. Uh, I just divide the first term by the one I factor out, that is 6 times x squared times y squared. The 6, 6 will cancel out, y squared, y squared will cancel out. I get x to the 8th power over x to the 2nd power. So here I divide two terms with the same base. Whenever I divide two terms uh, with the same base, I have to take the base once and subtract the exponents. That is 8, negative 2. So the simplification of this one is x to the power, 8 minus 2 is 6. So when I divide the first term by the one I factored, I get x to the sixth power. So that's what, that's what I have to return, uh, write over here. And now uh, to get the term over here after uh, this one is factored, I have to divide the second term. That is uh, 12x squared times y squared by the one I factored, that is six times x squared times y squared. So x squared, y squared, x squared, y squared cancel out. Six goes into six one time, six goes into 12, two times. So when I divide the second term by the one I factored, I'm getting uh, two. So this is a factor form of the given expression. So this is equal to the given expression. Uh, I find 6x squared y squared times x to the 6 power past 2 in option C. So the correct answer choice uh, for this question is option C.